Hey guys, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. I've been doing a bit of off-camera work as you might be able to see here. I have laid down some foundations over here. Uh, I took up all of the two height, uh, two meter foundations and I uh, put in four meter foundations instead. And then I've set up a ton of smelters over here, eight in total, for our uh, copper and iron smelting. Also, I have hooked up the copper mine over here and basically all we need to do is to get that going is to hook it up to some power. So let's do that. And let's just get that going and we can hook it up to where? Where can we hook it up? This one? No. All right. And let's build a power line here and hook that up to something okay uh, let's tear down this power line and hook uh, this up to here and then we can hook that up there i think that's what it was hooked up to yeah it was okay so that's good and today we're going to be taking it down all, everything we have back here and get it going up here where we're going to be a little bit more or organized. I am thinking that we are going to divide our uh, factory in two, copper smelting over on the right and iron on the left. I'm not quite sure how many machines I want for each, I think probably I'll want two or three copper machines and then five or six uh, iron machine so that's what we're going to do but of course we're going to need to build more miners we have some iron ore over here that we can get uh, set up with uh, mk1 miners we have one here and we have one over here and then there's some kind of patch behind us with some nasties uh, protecting it which i don't want to go fight right now but there is a patch back here as you can see right there i don't know what it is but we'll find out at some point all right so let's get started oh i also uh, handcrafted some uh, some stuff and uh, just let uh, some material get made so we have a little bit of work to work with and also the man got done with its research so we have researched uh, alien carapace. Uh, so let's uh, start a new research. Additional uh, samples are required for R and D to continue developing a defense-oriented blueprint. Okay. Let's see. I have more of those. So let's just uh, can we research alien carapace again? Yes, we can. Oh, it needs ten now. All right, then we can't. So let's get some leaves or something. Flower petals or what can we research? Um, where did the carapace go? I think we can research some flower petals. Let's do that. How many does it need for that? Flower petals, 10, we have that. So let's stick those in there and start researching some flower petals. All right, so the carapace is going to be something about defense, which sounds really, really good because not dying would be nice. But let's tear everything down here and uh, get it set up over there. So tear this down, tear this down, tear this down, tear the conveyor belt down, that, that, and that's it. Everything is torn down. Oh, we tore, tore down the uh, concrete as well, which I'm not quite sure where I want to make. I think maybe I'll set up a separate facility for that over here or something. But let's... Uh, we have the copper going in there. We need to give it some power there. And I already set the recipe so that's going to make copper ingots for us and then we want to grab our 
iron. Let's clear that conveyor belt. And I think I want it to go in. Come on. There. Oh. I guess my inventory is full. Yes, it is. Let's just get rid of some of this stuff that we don't need right now. So let's get rid of some concrete. And this. All right. Well, that gives us a bit of room. And let's grab everything in there. All right. So I think. What I want is for my iron to go in on the far right. So let's tear that down and oops, start making some conveyors to go up here. And this is very much in the way, but we'll do like that. And hopefully we can get it in to there without something weird happening. Yes, we can. Outstanding. So that's a iron smelter that we're going to get going there. And I want some power for it. Uh, let's just organize our power poles a little bit better. I don't like when they're weird like that. Okay. So. We'll plunk down two here. And we will connect these two to that and connect them together like so. So that gives us a little bit and then we can take power line from this. And I think we'll put down another power pole here and take a power line and bring over there so that this is going in and then we will take why is okay never mind then we'll take from here and place another one down and from there bring one over here and Place this down and power this up. All right, so we have iron and copper smelting going again. So I want to set up uh, a conveyor here. Uh, uh, let's see, I want to set up a instructor first and I want it to be aligned with that thing. It needs to turn around. It says that it's aligned there, but I don't see it. Is that aligned? I guess it is. Okay. And let's get a conveyor belt going. There. Does that look straight? Yeah, I guess it does. Okay, and I want you to make iron plate. And then we need another power pole, which we can place in here. Like so. And grab a power line from there, to there, and from there to there. All right, so now we are producing iron plate. And let's uh, set a constructor up over here as well. This sand patch there and there annoys me a little bit, but it is what it is. So a constructor, and I want it to align with both over there. Airlines 
Airlines. Airline. It's tough. Right, let's see. Does this align with anything? It aligns with that, but it doesn't align with the other one. It does, however, align with the other one if we move it over. It's really hard to see sometimes what's going on. So there's an alignment line there. There. No, it doesn't. Okay, so it needs to be moved one forward. We want it like that. That should put it into alignment with both. And then, if it is, then we're happy. It is. Excellent. All right, let's bring a conveyor belt over here and tell this to make wire. And then we need another power pole. So we'll put in there. And I think what we'll do is, I think I'll put a power pole up here as well. And then bring a power line from that to that, from that to that, and from that to that. All right, so now we are producing wire. Fifteen wire per minute. Okay. And over here, we're producing iron ingots. Thirty per minute, and I think the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt can transport 60, I think. Why has that stopped? Oh, you don't have power. Okay. So we need a power pole over here. Put it there. And this up to it. And then hook that up to there. And that up there okay so yeah we have iron going again good good okay so that's something we have going uh actually let's go over to the hub and see what we need to operate the hub once more uh, We've done tier zero, which is great. So let's get started on tier one utility. Okay, so we actually just need iron rods to get that done. That is quite nice. So let's uh, select that milestone. We get some walls with uh, doors and a big gate, and biofuel, and a lookout tower. So let's select that milestone and stick in uh, what we have. We have the iron plate. We have... Uh, what's that? Oh, that's reinforced iron plate. Uh, we have some rods and we have enough wire. But we just need more rods. Let's, uh, let's just make those 70 rods and get us upgraded. So that we are making progress on the hub as well. All right, there it is, and there we go. And let's click utility. Outstanding. You have unlocked several structures aimed Look at that cool thing. Needed to build basic factory in Wonder where it's going. Additionally, the biofuel blueprint will ensure improved fuel consumption of biomass burners. Additionally, you can now build the space elevator, which is integrated so awesome. contribution to project assembly. 
Thanks, Ada. So let's uh, let's have a look. Oh, pod launch. Pod will return in two and a half minutes. Let's see. Did the research finish over here? Yes, it does. Uh, or it did. It is completed. Please choose a new specimen in the list to begin the new analysis. So. R and D wishes me to tell you these colored petals are useful for two things: dating and creating color cartridges. Mandatory reminder that you are under 24/7 surveillance. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier Two. We just need one of these, and we can start that researching. That's the bacon agaric thing. So let's get that going. It'll take five minutes. Okay. So we also need to make an object scanner, which uh, I would like to do. So we need to make three beacons. What do we need to make beacons? We need iron rods and that's it. So let's do that. Uh, just make 50 iron rods and then do it. And beacon, three of those. And then we can make an object scanner. Which I have no idea what I use for, but okay. So let's have a look. Object scanner scans the area for a set item, beeps at a rate proportional to proximity and direction. All right, very cool. We don't need that right now, but now we have it. Let's see, can we make another minor MK1? Uh, yes, we can. If we go pick up a uh, portable miner, we'll just go get this one. Because then we can go and set up a miner over here on another ore patch, iron patch. And. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it, freighter re entry complete. Minor MK1. We want it facing over here. Hmm. This general direction. Yeah. And let's pull the conveyor out. And we need to go around the other iron pads so we can get the other uh, MK1 miner in there. And we'll pull this over to number th two melter. Like so. We'll fix this up later so that it looks nice. Uh, we can make this look a lot nicer. But uh, right now I just want it going so that we can get some iron rod production. Uh, let's see, how many do you have left? None. How many do you have left? Let's just build another pole. Uh, build another pole here. Right there. And disconnect this for a second. That power line there. Put that power line. Uh, where's the other pole? There. Like so. And then put a power line for you. So that you get going on mining. Let's see, how is our power doing? We're consuming 22. But I, I'm guessing that's because these are not going. Uh, it is actually going. And this is going. 
This over here has stopped. Mm. Okay, let's uh, make another constructor. We can do that. And I want it to line up with that. Damn it, I haven't left myself enough space. Enough space. Hmm. Okay, we'll put it down here. And then we'll have to fix our uh, smelters. So let's just uh, pick you up and build a new one. They will pick you up too. And we'll pick you up. Smelter, which I want aligned that oh damn it. I didn't mean to do that filter where does it align with there wasn't that where I had it before no it's one over I think okay Put a conveyor in there. And put a conveyor up there. Alright. Then we need to give this some power. So we'll need to put down another power pole, I think. Put one down there. And power line up to that. And put a power line up to that. And then we will put a power pole down here, and one here, and put power lines up, and get this going. And you, I want to make iron rods. And you, I want to make iron ingots. So there, now we have that going. All right, <clears throat> and these two are quite close together, but that's okay, I think. For now anyway, we can always tear everything down again and build it up again, no biggie. So let's see, did we have, uh, yes, we do have storage containers. So I would like to build a storage container How many? Oh, there we can't. One, two, three, four, five, I think. I think that's five. Anyway, and then we'll build a storage container. That, there it's lined up. And get it. Going in there. And can we build one more? Uh, nope, we need iron plate. Which we have right here. Now we should be able to build it. Yes, we can. And let's see. Where does it line up? Lines up there, but where does it line up with these guys? There. So, so it just overhangs. Oh, I can see it. Right there. And then get some belt going in there so that our wire can go out. Outstanding. Okay. Very cool. Let's see, can we build splitters and stuff yet? No. That's too bad. Uh, Alright, let's see, what do we need to be able to upgrade our hub one more time? Maybe that will give us the splitters and mergers, which we want. 
Logistics. Yes, it will. So 200 iron plate, 200 iron rod, and 500 wire. That's actually not too bad. So let's see what we have uh, already. Uh, maybe we won't have to handcraft anything. Oh, I think we will. Yeah, we definitely will. Man, that wire, wire was going slow, it seemed. And so is this. Only 40. And what about here? 39. Hmm. Okay. Handcrafting. Yay. It's fine. Uh, so let's see. Iron rods we can make. Some of at least. We can make some wire. And how much do we have? 200 something. We're not quite gonna get there, but almost. Let's, uh, let's craft some iron ingots so that we can make some more rods. We need a lot. We need 103 more rods, but we can run over and grab some, hopefully. And with iron plate, we need... 85 more. Get these rods done. Alright. Let's stick in what we have. We have some iron plate. We have some iron rod. We have some wire. Oh, not too bad what we're missing. It isn't too bad. Let's go get some more. Alright. That's more like it. New email received. Okay. Didn't even know I could get email. Uh, inbox. Power circuit notification. Okay. We just lost all our power. I guess uh, there's no more uh, fuel in the biomass generators. That's my guess anyway. Let's see. No, no fuel. No, no fuel. All right. But we can now make uh, biofuel. So let's grab some biomass and make some bio biofuel. I wonder if we can handcraft that. Yes, we can. Let's make some of that. Because that's going to last longer than the biomass. So... Let's get that going. I would like to fill both of them up, but we're not going to be able to do that with the amount of biomass that we have, unfortunately. Let's see, if we can put 150 in each. Do we have more? Yes, we do. Let's just make that two. we can fill up both of the uh, biomass generators. Uh, fuel. Fuel. Turn you on. Alright. 
Okay, power's back up. Very good. So let's go see what we have here. I guess it's not much since the power was down. We have some of that. So we have enough wire now to complete it. And do we have enough rods? Yes, we do. Do we have enough plates? No, we do not. Okay. That's too bad. But let's get everything that we have in there. We just need 43 iron plates. Let's see, do we have some iron ore in here? Yes, we do. So let's make some ingots and make some plates. Just to give the factory a bit of help of a helping hand. It's not exactly producing fast yet, but hopefully that will be remedied in the not so distant future. All right, let's craft these. It's not enough, but we can run over and grab from the chest and hopefully that will be enough. How many did we have? We have 31. So we need six. Uh, we need some more. That's enough. All right. So, in you go. In you go. And let's upgrade again. Yay! Milestone reached. Conveyor Many belts adults. can now merge mm -hmm. and split to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. The productivity display standing measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Okay. And I guess uh, the MAM is done as well. Yes. Can stick in the barrel nut. Can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in Hub Tier 1. Whoops. And split it. Split it again, and split it again, and split it again. I don't actually know how. Uh, I don't know if I can grab just one. I haven't figured that out. But we have a barrel nut and we can begin analysis and it'll take five minutes. Very cool. Okay. So I think we have made pretty good progress. Let's just climb up here. Actually, can we make a uh, lookout tower? Yes, we can. All right, I want to make one of those. Uh, let's. Where do we want to build it? Uh, somewhere where it's not in the way, but also where it can see a lot of stuff. Uh, don't think it's too much in the way right here. So let's build it. And climb up. Let's have a look. Okay, that's looking much nicer than what we had before. It's not perfect yet. We I need to fix the distance between the smelters and stuff. But other than that, I think uh, we're looking pretty good. And what's that up there? I have no idea. Okay, but it's looking pretty good and uh, we, I think we've made some good progress. So uh, thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.